What up, nerds? Welcome back to the Nerd Dimension, the Loki trailer, episode one, opening scene, and Marvel Easter Eggs Breakdown by Emergency Awesome. I'm reacting to it. I'm checking it out. I cannot wait for Loki to come out. Say, what, June 1st? Not far away now. Not far away now. I meant June 9th. Not June 1st. June 9th. This has been your future Sadie message. And the podcast is coming back. I can't wait. I've missed it. We're going to do the same kind of style that we did with Falcon and the Winter Soldier, except we're doing it with Loki. The two boys are coming back, David and Mikey. I can't wait. I'm absolutely anticipating the new Loki series, and I can't wait to talk about it with, uh, with the boys. But, however... We're going to be doing one extra bonus episode, a refresher episode, a week before Loki comes out. So the podcast will be up and running next weekend, and then the following week we'll be starting the Loki podcast. So we're probably going to do a history of Loki breakdown, our favourite scenes, the worst things Loki's ever done, what we like about Loki, what we like about Tom Hiddleston's performance, etc, etc. But anyway, that's a video for next time. Today we're reacting to this. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Time Variance Authority. I'm Miss Menace, and it's my job to catch you up before you stand trial for your crimes. Miss Menace? Now hang on just a minute. And we'll get you in front of a judge in no time. <laughs> Who actually believes this crap, sir? I'm gonna use your ticket. No. <laughs> Thanks for visiting the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hiddleston's too good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. I couldn't even imagine anyone else playing Loki, honestly. I couldn't. It's the same as Iron Man and Captain America. And, and my favourite Thor, of course. I named my dog Thor. Do I get a weapon? Gear up. We have a, is that a bag case? There a bag, a bag of cash there as he was teleporting up. Right, I'm not reacting to the whole eleven minutes in the breakdown, but I'm just reacting to the first trailer and the new bits of footage that we got. Uh, let's go back. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run through this. See if I can catch anything. Miss minutes. That was now. Is that thing just burnt his clothes off like nothing? Like. Just just burns it right off. <laughs> and proper Loki fact. Hang on just a minute. This is absurd. I want to know what, what he said there. And you actually believe this crap? Believe what? Okay, I guess we'll find out. This is obviously from the first episode. Obviously. Zero, to zero tolerance sign in the background, I noticed. His face there, fucking phenomenal. Owen, Owen Wilson looks really interesting in this role, like, kind of unrecognisable, do you know what I mean? It's, it's a different role, a different role for him, that's for sure. I'm excited to see his performance, see what his character's about. I feel like they're going to become kind of like a duo, like a buddy cop or whatever, buddy cops. It's only a minute long. All these like symbols and letters. I'm not sure what they are, but oh, oh, uh, it's all the letters to spell Loki. It's all in this mystical time fucking pattern. I dig it. I dig it. Take a tab. It's kind of like the DMV in it in America. Anyway. As before, I'm absolutely hyped for this. I couldn't anticipate it more. The fact that it's the Loki from Endgame, he took the Tesseract, aka the Space Stone, teleports away. That's breaking off into a new branch reality. So whatever he's done has caused a, some sort of rip in the fragment of space and time that's going to have altercations throughout the MCU. Who knows if it's going to lead into and merge with stuff that's going on in the multiverse of madness, or if it's just gonna be its own thing, standalone. I don't know if there's gonna be more than one season, or if there's gonna lead on in some movies, or if Loki's ever gonna be back in the main cinematic MCU in the movies. I mean, I imagine at some point he'll reconnect with Thor. It would be pretty sick if he appeared in Thor Love and Thunder. 
I can't wait for that. Thor's my absolute favourite. I just hope, like, obviously, they're bringing Jane Foster in. Don't know how I feel about that. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But is this going to be Thor's last performance? Uh, Chris Hemsworth, last performance as Thor? I don't know, but I hope not. And I hope he's not fat. It, you know, see, when, when we're watching Endgame in the cinema, I just, I seen it come and see right away when they were, they were going down to the pier and you can see the new Asgard and it's pretty lovely. It's from the same place that they spoke to Odin and Thor Ragnarok. But um, he said, oh, this could this could be Asgard. Asgard's a people, not a place. Quite powerful. Anyway, Anthony Hopkins, what a legend. Anyway, so when they were leading up to that in Endgame, I saw like they were saying about the beer and shit. And I'm like, no way. Like, I turned to my mate and like, He's going to be a fat bastard. He's like, shut up. Nice. Ma, oh my God. Then they get to the bit where they open the door and just the way it's filmed and the editing, you can't see him yet. I'm like, he's going to be obese. I was hoping he wasn't. And then we see it up like that. Oh my God. I mean, a few funny moments and a, fun, a few funny scenes, but Thor in Infinity War was an absolute badass. He's my, between Thor Ragnarok and Thor in Infinity War, he's my favourite. Second is Cap. Third is Iron Man. My, they're my three favourites in the MCU. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love them all. Spider-Man. Uh, be technical difficulty. I mean, I love them all. Spider-Man. One of my favourites since I was a kid. I'm excited to see the X-Men finally get brought in and integrated into the MCU. Who knows where they're going to take that. But anyway, I'm absolutely buzzing. Loki comes out 1st of June, about a fortnight from now. <sighs> what's your thoughts what are you most excited for where do you see this season going anyway leave your comments down below because i want to hear your thoughts and theories about loki and the show what is your thoughts of the character do you like the fact that it's going to be the same loki with the same personality as in the first avengers or are you going to miss the new anti-hero kind of redeemed himself loki let me know down below anyway see that little like button that little subscribe please hit that and i'll catch you next time